course, the McCall Winter Carnival is now in full swing, but we had to wait until today to see one of the most anticipated events at the event, and it's called the Idaho Sled Dog Challenge. This is footage from the race last year. Got started this morning. Here's a list of all the race start times. The start of the 300 mile race was this morning at the Little Ski Hill just three miles northwest of McCall. Two more races are set to kick off tomorrow. The junior race start and the 100 mile race start both at the little ski hill and they finish the 100 and the 300 miler on Friday at the same spot. Now one of these sled dog races, uh, well they're all grueling, uh, but the Idaho Sled Dog Challenge is one of the hardest in the world because of the topography that the mushers have to go through. The race totals 300 miles as I mentioned, begins northwest of McCall. The mushers in these races are all from around the world and right here. Another year and another local participant in the junior category of the Sled Dog Challenge. 15 year old musher from CUNA, her name, Seppa Francis. We caught up with her last weekend training just outside of Idaho City. I'm Seppa Francis and I'm 15 years old. And we are out here today training our sled dogs. <laughs> Most people don't even know what it is. So I just have to explain, you know, the whole concept of it and the history behind it. We're kind of sponsoring and help training Seppa because she's got some high dog sledding goals. Hopefully the junior I did around in a couple of years. Basically, your team consists of four positions. Wheel dog, team dog, swing dog, and lead dog. Started when I was like five in 2009 in Sea Lake, Montana almost 11 years now, most of my life. Just down the road we had an Iditarod musher that would take me out when I was little, and that's kind of when this all started. Yep. I think you learn more when you're mentoring someone else than um, when you're just, you know, going out for a training run. Getting on the snow is really important. It takes a little while to condition the dogs so that they can accomplish the goals. If we want to go right, we tell them G, and if we want to go left, we tell them Ha, and to stop them, we say Whoa. And then if we want them to run, you so we can say up, up, or hike, or anything like that. And then when they're doing what they're supposed to, when they're running like this, we'll tell them good dogs or good kids and stuff like that. It just helps them kind of boost morale. Dogs. Being around the dogs is just incredible. They always care about you, and they're going to be there if something happens. Nobody else is, but they will. Up, up. Good kids. This is the first year of them doing the junior races. The junior is 37 miles. This is my first technical race, but I've been running forever. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I like the opportunity to run and it's not that far. It's super exciting. We need more young people in the sport. It's a great training run and a good place to start into distance mushing. find your peace. There's nothing in the world that just kind of clears your head like this does. 